I remember having this conversation with you previously where I said a, a chap said to me, uh, I don't understand how you can you can charge so much less commission than us and still make a profit. And I said, I don't understand how you can't. And you need to answer that question, yeah. not because I am. Like the numbers are there. We're we're doing very well. We're, you know, um, we'd always like to be more profitable, but you know, to actually be growing as quickly as we are and being um so close and in, in and around i'm not going to pretend we're, we're turning over vast amounts of profit and we've got more money than we know what to do with it's tough yeah but we are marginally profitable and that's that's really important um but it's because we think again where's the money going to come from where is the where is the distribution going but moreover where are we spending our money in terms of the process of customers buying and being serviced by hub yeah um so we look at the entire pro i mean i come from an automation background um so we look at the entire process of the customer coming on where are they spending the time where is our broker who if you look at the future of commercial insurance broking they suggest up to 63 percent of a broker's day is spent on petty admin mm. you halve that yeah you know, this is the broker who's probably on seventy thousand pounds a year yeah. certainly in london be 70,000 man a year and you've got them doing 63% of the down petty admin and yeah. um, you shut that down by half um, and automate those processes and, and and really get them to high value tasks get them to the things that you pay them for where their expertise is um, and that's what we focused on is what is our process how can we optimize it to within an inch of its life and just be dealing with things by exception dealing yeah. with the things that need needs a human to look at it um, and that has value in. Good example of that, claims. There's yeah. only so much you want to automate claims, right? Because the customer wants to speak to another human being. They want that reassurance of, oh, we've heard you, we're going to do it. They want some support. I, I don't think you should be automating that. I think that's exactly where we do want people um, yeah. adding that human touch, that thing that a computer can't do, which is empathize, reassure, um, you know, make someone feel supported. I am Ed Housie of Challenger Broker Hub, and this is the future of insurance.